Hey, my Fire Sign friends, and welcome to my channel. My name's Indigo, and I'm here doing your uh, Thursday, September 13th love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Fire Signs. That's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, it will be in that order. Uh, Aries will be first, uh, Leo second, Sagittarius third. We will get started here right away. Spirit and Angels, what message do you have for our Fire sign friends in love for September 13th. Okay. I know this is itchy. You guys have strong energy today. Okay, Aries. You guys have the Empress. Leo, you guys have the Seven of Cups in reverse. And Sagittarius, you guys have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, Virgo has also had this today, Sagittarius, if you are connecting with a Virgo. And the bottom of your deck is the Two of Swords in the upright with the Hermit. Hello, Virgos. All right. Man, the energy is so strong. Okay, so, yeah, so um, there is a choice that needs to be made, uh, and you really are being encouraged to go within to consider all the options of this choice and to make sure it's the most, uh, the best choice for your spiritual path. Um most definitely, it also has to do with a Virgo. Should I stay? Should I go? Um, also an air sign. That's uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aries, you guys have the Empress. So you're getting ready to create something with somebody new. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull clarifiers because I have so many messages coming in that I don't know which message is for who. So, Spirit and Angels, why is the Empress here for our Aries males? Okay, so uh, Aries, you know who, Aries males, you know who it is that you want to create a family with, who you want to create a life with. Um, even though people are trying to um, confuse you or, you know, make you believe their illusions, um, there's a lot of confusion surrounding your choice, Aries, but um, you will choose the one that is meant for you. You will choose the one who you are meant to create a life with. Um, very well could be a Taurus as well. Um, but you have a choice today and spirit is saying, you know, your choice deep down, but, uh, you have to have the courage to make that choice. Aries females, you guys have the four of cups. So you have a blessing right in front of you. Um, that you're not seeing. The universe is trying to show you something. And once you figure that out, once you realize what it is that they're trying to show you, you will be able to create a new, something new with somebody, uh, that you are hoping to, uh, have a new beginning with. Um, yeah, there's just something that you're not seeing. Yeah. This person really loves you. Um, you're kind of pouting that they're not, I, I can hear hurry up, hurry up. And they're not. And it's, you're kind of pouting about it, that they're taking their time because you want to start creating this life together. You want to start building, um, what you're meant to be doing here could be a water sign. Most definitely look at all those cups. Uh, that's cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, definite male in your life that has a lot of feelings for you, a lot of emotion. Um, and this will be very successful, but you just got to see what it is that you're not. There's something the universe is trying to get you to see, and you're just not quite seeing it yet. But you will see what it is in this time of solitude, in this time of escaping from the world and taking that blindfold off um, that you've been wearing because you're kind of just seeing your own point. You only want to see what, what is for you and not seeing all the situations, Aries females. Okay. Leos, you guys are coming out of a state of confusion, a state of, um, not knowing which way to go. Uh, 
you're most definitely have a choice in front of you and you just up to this point, you, you didn't know really what to do, but you are figuring it out. Leo males. Whoa. Way too many of that. One of them was the Empress, though. You could be connecting with an Aries Leo. Leo males. Or a Taurus. Or a Sagittarius. Okay, so, um, yeah, you are, you've been kind of flighty because you have so many options, Leo, that you haven't committed to one. But you will be moving towards another fire sign. Um, yeah. Because this is who you feel you've been led to, uh, led to. I, especially if they're Sagittarius rising or Venus, those are the very strong right now here. Their presence is here. Um, Leo females, look at you go. A gift from the universe. You have made it through the struggle. You have made it through the tests, the um, many roadblocks that the universe has put in your way to teach you your karmic lessons. You've made it through. Um, you just have to make the decision of whether to give this person a second chance or not. Um, you will figure out who it is that you want in the time of, uh, solitude in the time of reflection, and you will be getting a gift from the universe, receiving much abundance today, um, in many areas of your life. Leo's you're very lucky today. Just FYI. All right. Sagittarius, uh, Virgo had this card in their reading, same position in the reverse. Um, you're working hard, but nothing seems to be coming to fruition. Nothing seems to be manifesting. Um, that's because it's time to take a step back, um, and take the blinders off, take that blindfold off and realize what's going on around you. Um, you're just patiently waiting Sagittarius or not patiently. Some of you are impatiently waiting. You're putting a blinders on to everything else going around in the world or in the, well, in your world. And, um, just in blind faith waiting for, for this person, uh, some of you with the hermit card being here and this being Virgo's card and their daily reading, most definitely you're dealing with a Virgo today. Um, you put in a lot of work. Let's see here. Saggy males. Sagittarius females. Okay, so males, you guys um, are are questioning whether you should keep putting in work to this connection um, because you are uh, feeling drained from the sneaking around energy. You could have uh, more than one person or, or you're a third party, but there's some deceitful things that were going on in the past and it just really caused you to lose interest uh, to um, not to not uh, be as emotionally drawn to this person as you once were for you males. So even though you knew what was going on, you um, kind of turned a blind eye to it and um, are slowly deciding whether you want to stay or go um, because this is just completely draining you. Sagittarius females, you have two eights. Beautiful. Um, this uh, is saying to me that you're no longer feeling trapped by the work that's, that's being put, that you had to put into um, reach a relationship with this person. Um, you're no longer feeling like you need this person in order to live your life. And, uh, and you know, all the work that the angels are doing behind the scenes to put this connection together. And you are choosing to, um, just sit and, uh, enjoy your own surroundings. You're not going to let anyone else rain on your goddamn parade. Um, so you're just ignoring all the drama. Let's see. Yeah. Um, think the energy is shifting here with the moon. I don't see this as secrets. I see there, you guys have a special connection with somebody with the moon. Um, you know, like you used to go look at the stars together or, you know, um, something along that, those lines. You guys connected in the evening and at night. Um, you guys would do something special together. I do see this as um, a, a stable foundation that is going to come to you in, in the future. Right now, though, um, you both are just kind of uh, 
in this time of self-reflection. Though your self-reflection this time, Saggies, are is beautiful. Um, you're like looking back at like, wow, look how far I came. I've, I'm pretty damn proud of myself, and you guys should be. Um, instead of the reflection of what did I do wrong, where are they at? Very beautiful energy for all three of you guys today. All right. Jeez. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for our fire signs for the third half my deck? For the 13th of September, please and thank you. One more, my angel said. This one. Okay. You guys got retreat and passion. So for some of you, it's time to disconnect from the world. Like I was saying, um, you're just ignoring everyone's drama. You are enjoying your own damn life and um, not really wanting to deal with people while you're in that hermit um, mode, all of you guys. Um, so yeah, it's time to disconnect from the world. Let the drama be outside of you and um, what's meant for you will come back into you. Uh, so don't worry about that. And passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, and this is just, this is talking about passion in life. You guys are finally healing. You guys are finally feeling okay with yourselves again. Your, your emotions are finally leveling out. So start enjoying, enjoying the passion of everyday life, of enjoying the little things. Um, as all too often, those end up being the main things in our life anyways. So I hope you guys have a beautiful Thursday. It's an amazing day of energy for you guys. So enjoy it. Until next time, God bless.